Good morning. Welcome to Wesley United Methodist Church. I'm Pastor Scott Grolke. And uh, this is the second Sunday in Advent. Our theme is peace, the peace of the Christ child. Uh, please complete a connection card if you did not do so earlier. And prayer cards are in front of you. I want to ex again express appreciation and joy over the holiday festival yesterday at St. Paul's. What a marvelous community of gifted musicians, instrumentalists, vocalists, directors. Jason in the back. Wonderful job, too. And uh, Christmas uh, offering letters are available in the back if you'd like to support our ministries during this holiday. The Illinois Department of Public Health is doing another vaccine clinic here on December 14th. And this will be for children five years of age and up through adults. We'll do another one in January to follow up. Uh, Pastor Melly wants to say something reminding you about the prayer, prayer time we have. God is good. All the time. All the time. We have started prayer time on Mondays. So please come if you, I mean, it's not that you're going to stay for the whole two hours. I'll be here for two hours, but come as you wish for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 mm -hmm. minutes, 20, whatever you want. So we have mm -hmm. music, soft music playing and come and pray. This is a house of prayer. So we want prayer in this house. Kim wants to say something about the special support for college students. Yes. So the Congregational Nurture Committee made these blessing bags for finals weeks. For our college students, we know it's not quite finals week yet, but it is study week, so we figure they could use some snacks and water and some gifts from their church while they're studying. So if you are a college student, a college professor, um, or you know a college student, we have these out in the atrium on the pew as you're going towards Lodge Parlor. There's an exit sign there. There's a pew on the right. They are there. And if your college student is not here, take them home for them, and they should still be some out there next week as well for those who aren't here this week if they're coming next week to pick them up. So we wanna make sure that you have that gift from our church to your families during this season. We're celebrating the births of two children, uh, Clay Andrew Hager and Marion Generals Thrasher. So their roses are up here. We're celebrating with their families as well. Maureen has some inspirational music for us this time.
Last Sunday, we dared to light a single candle to pierce the darkness with hope. We live with inner terminal, na nations struggle between nations, and the future of the planet is threatened by human demise. Today we will, we, he light the candle of peace and pray. Lord, as you came and drink the good deed. This is the time of prayer. I have one prayer request to pray for the family of Laura May Dupont, who passed away. She was 25 years old. And we also pray for Pat Young, the coming up, coming up surgery. She's going to have a knee replacement on Tuesday. So we lift in our prayers. Let us go to the throne of God together. Almighty God, we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to come together in your presence to worship you this morning. Lord, I ask that you accept our act of worship, that your Holy Spirit will continue moving upon our hearts and ministering to us according to the need in the name of Jesus. So, Lord, we remember those who have who are not feeling well in this very place, or wherever they may be found, we ask for that grace of healing to be upon them in the name of Jesus. As we remember Pat and many others whom we have listed in our, in our boat, and we ask that you reach out to them as well, restore the body to the fullness for your glory. Let the blood that was shed on Calvary run into their body and clear Lord up as Isaiah tells us that by your by his wound we are ill so we thank you Lord for that grace we thank you for the word that you have made available for us we thank you for the children who have, who have brought to us the ministry of music we thank you for the celebration and asking that you bless them abundantly so we pray for those who have lost loved ones, asking that you come for them as you remember the family of Laura May and families of those who were lost. 
in Michigan high school shooting. We also remember those who are recovering from the hospital, Lord. We pray for your spirit to be upon our leaders so that they will lead this country according to your will in the name of Jesus. Lord, I rebuke all powers of darkness against us in the name of Jesus. I ask that you come and reign and rule us, Lord. I pray for those traveling. I pray for travel mercies in the name of Jesus. And I ask that you hear the prayers of your children as we lift our voices together, pray in the way your son, Jesus Christ, continue to pray, to teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, our Lord be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. I will now invite the ashes to, come, to please come forward as I pray. Lord, I ask that you bless what we are about to give. Multiply it for your work. Bless the source of providence. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise and glory. Amen. reading from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. While they were there, the time came for Mary to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. 
She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the hostel. There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly God's angels stood among them and the and God's glory blazed around them. They were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I'd, I'm here to announce the great and joyful event that is meant for everyone worldwide. A savior has been born in David's town, a savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you're to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises, glory to God in the heavenly heights, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. Now let's welcome the children under the direction of Ethan Ivey who have been circumnavigating the globe to understand what it means to celebrate the birth of the Prince of Peace. It's called a Christmas Carol Special Report.
Good evening. Welcome to Camus Christmas Carol Special Report. This year we have something exciting for you. We know it will be hard to top last year's Christmas Carol Circus, but we're going to try our best. Earlier in December, we sent our top notch reporters out on a mission to find some of the best Christmas Carol, Carol celebrations with strict instructions to avoid Christmas clowns. Now, if the winter chill has started to make you feel a little down and under the weather, get ready for a real down and under Christmas treat. Oh, that was clever, Jesse. Welcome to Hyde Park in Perth, Western Australia, where several of hundreds of carolers have gathered to participate in one of the many Carols by Candlelight events held around Australia during the month of December. So these are outdoor events? Yes, they are. Since the mid-1930s, these community events have been an outdoor Christmas favorite, drawing hundreds of thousands of participants over the years. Wow, Australians must really love their carols. Not sure I'd want to attend a single on a cold night. <laughs> Actually, Jesse, Australian students are on summer break, so they may come after spending a day at the beach or hosting an outdoor barbecue. It's a beautiful warm night for carols under the stars. the candlelight and the voices were simply beautiful. But I'm confused. Did she say it was summer? Yes, Jesse. Remember, Australia is in the southern hemisphere. When we're having winter, they're having summer. It's because of our Earth's orbit around the sun and the way we are tilted on our axis. What? But it's December, right? <sighs> yes, it's December in Australia. Perhaps we had better head to a colder location to help. Help Jesse get back on track. If you have a hat or a scarf handy, you might want to grab it because we are heading to St. Petersburg, Russia. Thank you, Natalie and Jesse. Yes, put on your hats, scarf, gloves, and overcoat. It's a blurry day here in St. 
Pet Petersburg. The shops and markets are decked with holiday decorations, but we won't be celebrating Christmas Day here until January 7th. January 7th? Are you guys trying to confuse me? First, it's warm in December in Australia. Now you're saying Christmas Day is January 7th? Yes, well, at least it is in Russia. The Russian Orthodox Church uses the Julian calendar for years because the government oppression, most Russians do not celebrate Christmas at all. That is so sad. Do they have any festivities? Yes, the focus went on secular. Winter celebrations of festivals in preparation for New Year's Day. However, since 1992, the Russian people have experienced more freedom, including the freedom to celebrate Christmas more openly. But they still celebrate it on January 7th. Let's see what happens if we combine some classical Russian music with our traditional Christmas carol. Now that's a lot of shepherds and wise men. It sure is according to the scholars. The first nativity play was performed in a cave around 1223 by Italian monks using wooden figures to tell the story of Jesus' birth. I love my nativity scene, but I had no idea it had such an interesting history. The nativity crib has remained the most significant Christmas decorations in Italy, traditionally displayed on December 8th. It is not completed until the Christ child is added on December 8th. Now isn't that something? I like that idea. 
and Italian nativities are not limited to shepherds and wise men. In sheep, these elaborate scenes include pleasures from all types of natural elements, like waterfalls and many, many animals, and smaller objects. Let's take a look. Jesus the Hour required by the list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. So everyone went to their own town to be list towns to be listed. Joseph went to Bethlehem because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there with Mary. She was engaged to him. Mary was expecting a baby. While Joseph and Mary were there, the, t- the time came for a child to be born. She gave birth to her first baby, a boy. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth and placed him in a manger. Jesus' birth, wise men came from the east to Jerusalem. They asked, where is the child who has been born to be king of the Jews? We saw his star and we have come to worship him. The star went ahead of them. It stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men went to the house. There they saw the child. They bound down and worshiped him. Then they opened their treasures. They gave him gold, incense, and myrrh.
What a beautiful nativity. Gathering at the manger, all of us, that's what Christmas is all about. Yes. And while we're on that topic, I have some breaking news from reporter Kate in Wisconsin. He's celebrating with his family and reminding them about the reason for the season. Let's see what he has to say. Oh, hello. My name is Kate Rice, and I'm here reporting from Wisconsin to tell you about what I like about Christmas. I like spending time with my family. Back to you. <laughs> Wonderful to hear from reporter Cade. We're all glad to be part of this family in Christ and thankful for what God has given us. You're right, Natalie. There's a place at the manger for all of us to come and worship. We're all out of time tonight, but please join us next week. Until then, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Thank you to the children. Thank you, even Ethan, for directing and Maureen, accompaniment, Jackie, pulling all the pieces together. Marvelous job. Wesley United, Wesley United Methodist Church has typically celebrated the Sacrament of Holy Communion on the first Sunday of each month. With our children presenting Christmas around the world, we have the unique privilege of offering this sacrament so that the children can participate in it. As a United Methodist Church, we recognize that this sacrament is open to all. Remember Jesus said, let the children come to me, do not hinder them, for to such as this belongs the kingdom of heaven. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, he took bread. 
gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take it, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When the supper was over, he took the cup, gave thanks to you, gave it to his disciples and said, drink from this all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of this, your mighty act in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us as we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Pour out your Holy Spirit on us gathered here, and on these gifts of bread and wine, make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be for the world the body of Christ, redeemed by his blood. By your Spirit, make us one with Christ, one with each other, and one in ministry to all the world, until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Once again, we invite you to assist your children if they're participating. Open carefully the wafer side of the chalice. This is the body of Christ, broken for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Take and eat. And carefully opening the wine, the blood of Christ, broken and poured out for you. Take and drink. God, nourish our souls with Christ in this Advent season as we prepare for Christmas. May we find the peace of Christ in our thoughts, in our minds, in our actions in high expectation as we await his birth. In Jesus' name, amen.
Once again, thank you for being here and celebrating with us and celebrating with our children. May the peace of God go with you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.